Okay, okay, uh, tell them I've not had as much useful time in recent months, so even that short negative pi I was planning to run has uh, got stuck in the quagmire of inaction. I've been working on it and another short thing, although these are more like skits rather than a field of flowers. Tell them I tried some green screen work recently and that was complex. Uh, oh, remind them I have another channel called Side by Side, devoted to local co-op. I run a series every year with my close and personal friend Greg Burnell. Not that close. So this is Hellfront Honeymoon from Sky Goblin, which um, is it's sort of a, a kind of a partially tower defense and partially like an RTS type mm. game. Um, and it reminds me most, I think, of Herzog Svai. Inversus is a negative space shooter by Hypersect. <laughs> you have a, a finite number of bullets. When you shoot them, it converts the, all the squares that the bullet travels through to whatever colour you're able to move through. So you're essentially carving out corridors through which you can move. Uh, and that's why it's called a negative space shooter, because you're trying to block the other player in and limit their movement mm. whilst also trying to protect yourself I mean, from their shots. Your goal is essentially to blow them away. <laughs> Can I play Dark Souls now? No, you can't play Dark Souls now. Look, Angry Birds or Candy Crush Saga, something like that, a real game. We're halfway through the fifth series and I still think what we do is pretty unique. It's not just an edited video of two clowns playing video games, but condensed discussions interspersed with footage of two clowns playing video games. I can't see what you're up to. Me neither. <laughs> Oh, what? I just ran straight into that. I know. Okay. In other words, I shot you. Let's put it down. No, no, no. No, I ran into you. Ah, come on, you're gonna die going down. <laughs> no. No, no. <laughs> You jumped right come into on. my sights. Black. <laughs> Stop vibrating. That's it. No, no, wait, wait. Uh, I also stream several times a year, like side by side, the electron dance transmissions are not just some dude playing a game. They're more like, more like uh, hour-long guided tours, which I rehearse first. And what I love about this level, I mean, you know, having got through all the struggles, is that there's this drop here and it feels like, oh, I have to go, oh no, that's not working. Um, and then even if you think about um, doing it this way, you think, oh, well, that's the way to do it. But actually, it's it's like literally impossible to turn around you you might think it's possible but it, it it's not and this can keep you up for days you're like what the hell how is this how do i how do i solve this this is surely the way to do it i have to be long enough to reach down there and the truth is it's actually a very sneaky tetris drop that's the way to do it and it does not hit you for a while can i play control now no you can't play control i told you that thing is 18 meters or something Fortnite, play Fortnite. Fortnite's easy, right? Or all Roblox. You love that thing. Which is the way most, you know, AAA games work, right? You know, they're huge amounts of detail just for you to shoot through for about two seconds. But there are some of us who try to reclaim those details. Tell them if that sounds like their thing, they can either subscribe to my Twitch channel or my other YouTube channel where I upload the streams after a little editing. Should I mention I'm still working on my book about the broader picture of indie game economics? I mean, I still only have that one free chapter out. I mean, it's a good chapter, but with a crappy placeholder cover. Oh, oh, wait. I can let them know that I'm also working on a book adapted from a long-running series of puzzle game articles on my website. I was aiming for December to finish, but that's not going to happen. You know me, fashionably late. Professionally tardy, no. Sounds rubbish. You can follow me on H for book updates, but I'm pretty sure I'll broadcast any news on this channel. I guess if we're gonna talk about reading stuff on a video site, we should squeeze in a plug for the monthly newsletter I've been writing for a few years now. Let them know it contains a short video game pontification, 
personal update, links to stuff, and the all-important playlist. Examples of topics. I do anything I want, really, don't I? Um, Real-world collectibles, negative No Man's Sky impressions. Oh, I had a few of those. Consumer reaction to industry work conditions. Oh, absolutely don't mention the newsletter is sometimes a little late, but definitely boast I've not missed one yet. And make sure to add links to everything in the video notes. Right, I just have to find time to film it. I think that's a good place to stop. <laughs>